welcome to the cricket connection this is deep patel and i'll be hosting a lot of videos where i'll be getting you know into the details about the industry of cricket into the details of a lot of matches and i'll be you know breaking down a lot of things in terms of the career options in terms of match analysis in terms of you know what happens in cricket what are the moving parts of cricket and you know how dynamic cricket is you know how as a fan we can be more associated with cricket we can make cricket a bigger part of our lives on 18th june 2021 we were all excited to find answer to one question who is going to be the winner the first winner in the test format in the history of test cricket now today is the fifth day and i see a lot of fans losing that excitement and thinking we are not going to have a result we are going to have a draw in the match because of rain because of bad light but here's some good news we are more likely to have a winner than a draw considering the recent history of test cricket the nature of test cricket and the weather of course now here's a detailed breakdown of why i'm telling you this this might be the fifth day and we have a reserve day but this is going to be a moving day and i assure you that so first let's look at what has happened so far and as it stands india were bowled out for 217 from their 92 overs in the first innings and new zealand have scored 101 at the loss of two wickets from their 49 so far we have had 141 overs of play and uh, we can expect around 180 to 196 overs of play uh, in the coming two days that is day 5 and the reserve day so let's you know dive deep into finding the trends of this match so if we look at the overall figures the scoring has happened at the rate of 2.25 318 runs in 141.1 overs now that scoring rate indicates that the scoring has been difficult and if we look at the you know number of overs per wicket so it again uh, you know adds up to around 11.4 overs per wicket so that also says that you know batsmen have applied themselves and they have managed to you know survive as well so it's not like uh, you know most of the batsmen have got out uh, right after the game but uh, you know if the batsmen show some application show some patience they can survive on this wicket so given that you know the scoring is not easy and even you know it is not that kind of a pitch where you will you'll get wickets you know falling you know you'll get five wickets falling in two to three overs or three to four overs you know that it is not that kind of a pitch but it is a challenging pitch and if you try to force issues like rishabh pant did you are more likely to get out right so we can expect the trend to continue the low you know the run rate will be below 3 most of the time now let's look at what that you know what can be possible given that so the, let's look at the first scenario if new zealand are to win they will be looking to bat throughout the day if possible they'll be looking to bat throughout the day now what they'll you know be looking at is a lead in excess of 100 ideally you know they would like to have a lead of 100 150 so that they can then get the full reserve day to bowl india out and you know chase whatever is remaining and they'll try to get you know uh, those runs in two run rates basically so right now as it stands they are 116 runs behind now they will look they'll be looking at a lead of say 25 so until they get a lead of 25 they'll be playing you know normal cricket on the merit of the ball and once they have crossed the lead of 25 they'll assess and they'll you know try to accelerate to get the lead to somewhere around 100 to 150 so this can be difficult you know 
it might happen that new zealand end up losing two or three wickets early in the day then you know uh, they might not be able to force the issue that much they'll play more conservative cricket and they'll be looking to end up somewhere around you know a lead of 50 to 80 or maybe even you know a lead of 0 to 30 but in short they'll be looking to get a lead over india and unless they get the lead they are not going to accelerate now coming to the other situation so india will be looking to get the 10 uh, the eight remaining wickets of new zealand as soon as possible ideally you know uh, they would like to get the uh, get them in the first session in the first 30 overs giving away 60 70 runs and you know getting some lead uh, for them but you know uh, considering the kiwi batting lineup it bad they bad dip uh, we might have a situation where you know new zealand get all out around 240 uh, you know play 50 more overs in the day get around 240 230 and they are all out so india trails by around 20 runs and then uh, you know india will be looking to uh, set a target of around 225 you know and give new zealand 65 to 70 overs to chase that target down so that would mean you know a scoring rate of around let's say uh, you know 3 3.2 3.3 something like that so that is you know achievable but that won't be easy still you know the new zealanders will have to bet a little uh, bet with a little more intent and that will bring in the you know chances of getting more wickets in the fourth innings so that will be a you know tricky chase that india will be looking to set up uh, set up for new zealand but not you know a very adventurous uh, declaration or maybe you know all out but something around 225 to 230 in around 60 to 70 overs and then they will be looking to get the 10 wickets on the reserve day in the 60 70 overs whatever they are able to you know get it now looking at the third situation so this is the situation that i expect you know uh, has a higher probability of uh, panning out not a draw but an uncertain winner now if you know new zealand get a lead of over 80 it is very certain that new zealand will be the winner if india get a lead of uh, you know anything under 25 i mean india is uh, you know getting any lead or they are trailing by under 25 30 runs then they will be able to you know force issues once the you know they can get in excess of 100 or 120 runs lead and then you know the other situation will be wherein new zealand end up scoring somewhere between 250 to 80 to 60 to 90 something like that and they bat for around 65 overs today which will leave only around 25 overs for india you know considering bad light uh, overs between the change of innings and all that so india will then be trailing by you know around let's say 60 70 runs or maybe 50 runs so the first job at hand will be to get the deficit down and not lose more than you know one wicket and then you know that would uh, be a conservative play and then india will be looking to you know uh, build the lead to around uh, the 100 mark right so that might take them around you know uh, that would mean around you know scoring 150 160 runs and that would take around 60 overs 60 overs you know around 60 overs yeah so that would mean that the, they would be batting well into the session one of tomorrow and then they'll also be looking to get you know another 80 odd runs so that they can have a lead of 180 90 and they can set that kind of a target from a little you know lesser number of overs that is you know maybe 50 overs or something because tomorrow they'll only have 70 overs to get those 80 and 90 runs and get the 10 wickets so that will make you know a draw a more likely probability but you know it also uh, keeps all the three options open india might decide to declare you know in an adventurous mode new zealand might uh, you know look to score down uh, might look to chase an adventurous total so you know the scoring rate will come into the equation and that is why you know i 
am expecting the result to arrive so what are my predictions you know in terms of the results so i am expecting a 35% win for new zealand 25% chance of winning for india and a 40% chance of drawing that means 40% draw and 60% will have a winner now let's you know look at my prediction on the session by session uh, proceedings for today so i'm expecting you know by the end of session 1 today new zealand will be around 170 they will have lost a couple of more wickets so that would be around 70 runs uh, you know from uh, 28 or 30 more overs so they will still be trailing by around 45 runs uh, by the end of session 2 today you know uh, new zealand will be bowled out for around 260 to 65 they'll have a lead of around 45 50 and by the end of session 3 india will have you know a score of let's say you know 90 around 80 to 90 and they'll be trailing uh, i mean they'll be leading by 45 runs or 40 runs by the end of the fifth day now going into the reserve day this will you know create an exciting situation india if india manages to score the 130 40 runs quickly then they can have enough overs to have a shy at bowling new zealand out and even new zealand will have you know enough overs to uh, chase the target down and you know i expect new zealand you know uh, in trying to get the result or in trying to be conservative and eke out a draw either situation the teams will be overthinking and that is what i feel is going to give us result you know if the teams were to play naturally we are more likely to have a draw but given this is a final this is the final of the first ever world test championship happening and both the teams would you know be wanting to win this one and hence and you know more importantly they will not be uh, wanting to lose this one they want to ensure that we don't lose this one so they will be either conservative in their approach or aggressive in their approach and in either ways when you don't play your natural game when you don't you know play the ball on its merit either way you, know, you are more defensive or more aggressive you are more likely to lose your wicket you are more likely to lose your rhythm you are you know overthinking and clouding your judgment and that is when the chances of the day progressing quickly you know occurs so that is why i expect india to you know score you know score quickly uh, in trying to win and trying to have an exciting match and uh, you know losing a lot of wickets as well so india will be bowled out for around 220 and they'll be getting you know uh, some 5 or 10 overs of play into the second session that would mean a target of around 175 for new zealand and by the end of second session tomorrow new zealand will you know in new zealand will start conservatively they don't want to lose a lot of wickets up front so they'll be you know proceeding at a two and half uh, run rate and they'll be you know, around 60 65 by the end of the second session 25 30 25 to 26 overs and the situation will be around 115 required with nine wickets in hand and the session to go and that session can have around you know 28 to 32 overs and you know by the time it gets to the last half an hour of the game i expect you know the situation to pan out that new zealand from the end of session 2 from the beginning of session 3 they'll think that they can you know have a shy they can have a go at the target and hence you know they'll be looking to score and there will also be you know phases when they lose wickets and that would you know make the match more interesting so i'm predicting a score line of you know 145 for 7 from 50 odd overs for new zealand with around 8 overs to go 30 runs to win and 3 wickets required and i think it is going to be a very exciting finish this is my prediction but regardless you know uh, i am considering the chances of having a result higher than a draw because this is a final and the players are not going to be thinking rationally they are not going to play on the merit of the ball they they are going to cloud their judgment 
crypto by uh, overthinking because this is you know a huge occasion and this is what i'm expecting you know and because of that we are more likely to have a result and an exciting two days i cannot wait for this i am pumped up to watch this two days you know as pumped up i uh, you know as i was at the beginning of this test so hoping to have an exciting two days and hoping to have a result and i believe we will have a result i am eking towards a new zealand victory you know uh, i am hoping you know i whatever team wins i'll be very happy uh, you know both are my favorite teams but i'm hoping new zealand wins this one and india win the t20 world cup as new zealand don't have the bowling lineup to win the t20 world cup i guess in the conditions that is going to be played so here's to an exciting two days of test cricket which is the ultimate form of cricket so thank you goodbye have a good cricket cricketing days have a good two cricketing days thank you if you are excited and interested in learning more about the field of cricket the industry of cricket you know what kind of career options are there what kind of you know professions are related to cricket and how a cricket match is you know made the way you know we view it uh, right from uh, the you know operations the organizing the food the security the players the playing the game the strategies the managing uh, to broadcasting advertising you know cameraman and everything i'll be diving deep into each and every aspect that makes cricket what it is and if you are excited to learn if you are excited to know more about it you know what to do and i'm i'll be hoping to see you soon in the next video